Father Dvorak, university leaders, deans, esteemed members of the faculty, graduates of the class of 2012, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2012 commencement exercises of the Graduate School of Management for the University of Dallas College of Business. Please remain standing for the invocation, Dr. Dvorak.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Almighty and gracious God and Father, as we gather here this afternoon for the commencement ceremony of the Graduate School of Management, we ask that you bless in a special way all who will receive their diplomas this afternoon. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gifts and talents you have shared with them and the guidance that you have given to them. We ask that you continue to direct and inspire them and guide them in the years that lie ahead. Bless all those who have been instrumental in their education during these past years. Bless their families and friends who have sacrificed and supported them in so many ways. Bless their professors who have shared their wisdom, knowledge, and experience with them. Bless all of us who are gathered here this afternoon to take part in this ceremony. We ask this in all things through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Good morning and welcome to our graduation ceremony. My name is Bob Shearer, and I'm proud to serve at my first graduation as Dean of the Graduate School of Management, College of Business at the University of Dallas. We're proud that all of you are here today as well. And I'd like to say President Keefe, Executive Vice President Galecki, Provost Berry, members of our faculty and staff, graduates of the class of 2012, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased that so many of you have come to acknowledge and celebrate the accomplishment of this afternoon's graduates. I would especially like to welcome and recognize those of you who have traveled long distances, some even crossing oceans and continents, to be here to celebrate with your loved ones today. I'm glad that you're here and would like you to know that the flags displayed here on the podium represent the countries from which our 2012 graduates come. If you can believe it, 25 countries in all. Welcome to our graduation ceremony. I'd now like to recognize members of our platform party and representatives of the faculty. And if each of the members of our platform party would please rise and please hold your applause till we've mentioned all of their names. First, Provost William Berry. Executive Vice President Robert Galecki. Guest speaker and MBA alum, Dr. Rodney Williams. And my good friend and colleague, our President, Thomas Keefe. A big round of applause, please, for all of our members of the platform party. And as we move forward in our ceremony, I'd like to introduce to you as well all of the people, my colleagues and friends, who have made it possible for our graduates to be here today. They've mentored, they've worked with them, they've shepherded them through the process, consulted with them. I'd like all the members of our University of Dallas College of Business Graduate School of Management faculty to please stand and be recognized. Please join me in a warm round of applause. At this time, I would like to introduce our president, Thomas Keefe, to say a few words. President Keefe. One of the great joys of being president of a university is to uh, preside over a commencement ceremony. One of my great joys is the Graduate School Management Commencement Ceremony because I don't know that any students have sacrificed more than you all have in order to reach this point. Virtually all of you worked while you're getting your degree. You did this uh, in your quote unquote spare time, that this was a significant commitment of resources, of time, and the patience of your family. Uh, I think that uh, today, each one of you will be acknowledged and recognized for your service. But what I'd like to do now is have each one of the graduates stand, turn around, and I'd like you to give a round of applause to your families.
for the sacrifices that they've made on your behalf. All right, sit down. <laughs> I don't really like microphones, so hopefully everybody can hear me. I won't take a lot of time, but I want to impress upon you that this is not the end. This is the beginning. You did this to prepare yourself for greatness. You all know that you have something special. There are any number of classmates of yours who have not reached this point because they didn't have the faith in themselves. It's not the ability, it's not the resources. Essentially, you have a gift. And that gift is you know you're special. You know that you're destined to do more than you're presently being allowed to do. And this MBA will maybe open the door, but your gift is not the degree. Your gift is what you know about yourself. Your challenge is is to get other people to recognize it in you. I can guarantee success for you if you promise to do one thing, and that is not quit. All of you are going to fail at some point or another. It's getting up and trying again and remembering. Remember that you got to this point because of your faith in yourself. Don't let go of that. You can have the degree but it is the confidence in yourself and your knowledge that you are special. We know you are. We are so proud that you chose the University of Dallas, and we're so proud that you are now part of the family, your alumni of the University of Dallas, the largest alumni group for any MBA program in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We are on the rise, and we're on the rise because of you. So God bless. Remember, in your soul, that you're special and that don't give up. And when you succeed, remember your alma mater because we could use your help. <laughs> Thank you. <very> <laughs>
with very humble beginnings, stemming from a desire for something more. The creation of value by our students could be enhanced just as a medical doctor's experience gets enhanced. A medical doctor studies the textbooks and then applies them in a real life ER. What I was looking for was the same opportunity to take the book learning and move it into reality. Bruce Evans' idea turned into the Capstone Program, a program that with a little help from colleagues and the guidance of founding Dean Robert Lynch, moved learning from books into the real world. Graduate students ended their education doing real work for real businesses in the DFW area, which provided a real buzz on campus. We have something that's real. We have the top decision maker. The uh, president or CEO of the company knows that the content uh, will be created by the students. My job was to be the vice president of quality control. I wanted to make sure that the way in which we made presentations, either verbally or in a written report, made sense, were communicated clearly, and there were no um, opportunities to drop the central theme. Evans created a program that has been wildly successful. For parts of five decades, the 150 capstone projects have given students the chance to work with company executives. During the course of 12 weeks, students get to make a real impact. They work directly with clients to identify challenges and find solutions. Solutions for some of the biggest and most influential companies in America. We did uh, the first capstone project in 81 and, and done, I think, five altogether uh, over the years since then. Well, one of the recommendations was that we uh, move to Houston. We, had some, and we were small towns, Tyler, Longview, Wichita Falls, Waco, but not the big towns. And uh, so we did. And uh, uh, then probably 85, 90% of our contracting and service business was in Dallas. Today, less than half is, and that was the thing that really got us going. Almost all of my uh, clients are just as interested in the student development as they are interested in the value to their company. If I pick them right, if they are cultivated, it's a win-win deal. The value to the business community is clear. Recommendations made by Capstone students help the business community succeed. The best strategic decisions you make are the ones where you quit doing something that you're already doing. Next best is when you think about something and don't do it. And then the third is when you come up with a good one and do it. And uh, so I don't think uh, Capstone ever helped us quit doing one we were doing, but they certainly helped us uh, start doing some things we weren't doing and don't start doing something that we thought about and probably was a bad idea. Students gain from the program as well in ways that can't come from any book. There was a real pride in the work that we did. Um, it was a lot of hard work, but you really felt at the end that you had satisfied something for not only yourself, but for your client. And, and you learned, for me anyway, more in that last class, like a real world experience than anything I had really done on a case by case basis in the classroom. The one thing that you can realize and look back on is that the capstone sets you up to gain valuable skills that you can apply in real life opportunities and chances are it's gonna to happen to you. And I think it's wonderful because really it's an opportunity that when, when my boss presented it to me, I laughed, I thought it was really funny. I immediately thought, I can't believe that I'm actually gonna be doing focus groups, but I did not feel scared. And I felt very confident and I felt like, you know what, I've done it and I, and I know what to do and I know here, what the resources are and what we need um, to be successful. And, and it was a confidence builder. And at the time I didn't know that that's what was happening, but it, you know, it's not that far down the road and, and I can give thanks to what I learned through that experience. As the Graduate School of Management celebrates 45 years of graduate business education, we celebrate the Capstone experience as an essential part of the UD MBA an experience that sets the Graduate School of Management apart from others. Today, the Capstone Program is one of the trademarks of the University of Dallas Graduate School of Management. Students learn by doing, and that encourages a natural process of discovery and teamwork, a process that is essential to their future in business.
Wow. Please join me in congratulating <laughs> Professor Evans, Mr. Lowe, and Ms. Dietrich for a great capstone project in helping us kick, up, kick off our 45th anniversary celebration. It's a great look at the capstone projects, over 150 in all completed. That long tradition of excellence is still alive and well at the University of Dallas. Just come into our lobby and you'll see posters uh, captioning at least 10 or 12 of the projects that are done uh, over the academic year. But what I'd like to do now is tell you about three other capstone projects which recently benefited our students, business, and a community in a Dallas-Fort Worth metroplex. The first one, Dr. Dale Fodness, recently advised a group of students who completed a project for SB International Incorporated, a company which provides tubing for the oil and national gas industry and which is run by UD MBA alum, Mr. Satish Gupta. SB International was looking for opportunities to expand their business internationally, and the UD Capstone students provided recommendations on where to expand their business and what initial steps to take to enter these markets. According to Keith Stetcher, one of the main uh, points of contact at SB International for the Capstone team, this Capstone class, quote, astutely looked at the worldwide energy sector and provided us with multiple avenues in which to pursue our next business venture. According to one of the students on the Capstone team who worked on the project, Sid Abraham, the GSM experience has time and time again taught me how to work within a team and it is, is this skill that has helped the most while executing the Capstone program. I had the opportunity to listen to that final presentation in Dr. Fodner's class the other day, uh, meet with representatives of SB International and meet our students. And I was thoroughly impressed at the uh, productive suggestions, the applicable suggestions, uh, that they were able to provide, and so was the management of SB International. Here's another project. Dr. Sandra Blank, who is herself a UD MBA grad and a veteran of the Capstone Project, recently advised a group of students who were helping Jim Lake management companies automate their manual leasing process by providing workflow improvement recommendations for their leasing process and software automation options. One of the students, Kalika Dennis, says, quote, I believe that I benefited as a student of this capstone class by gaining a greater understanding on how to manage projects. With this experience, I saw the project as a whole and helped with many aspects, not just in the section that I was responsible for. Shouldn't this be the end goal of all business education, an experience that broadens the student's experience in business and gives him or her new challenges, all while providing real benefit to a member of the local business community. University of Dallas Capstone students serve local business, but they also work with mainstays of the local community to enhance the services that are important to all of us. Recently, alumni and residence instructor, <coughs> excuse me, Paul Norcott, advised a capstone project for the Irving Police Department, the seventh capstone project UD has done for the Irving Police Department. Capstone pro students work to initiate a 911 call a response survey in order to identify areas of success as well as opportunities in the manner in which officers responded to and resolved calls. That is what Capstone's all about, connecting students, faculty, and business in a way that is beneficial for all, drawing students closer to the business community and giving them all the benefits that practice-based experiential learning can provide. For example, experience working in a team and motivating and directing other students, experience working in a capacity outside of your comfort zone, and experience dealing with new and different clients with new and different needs. All while providing valuable service for the business community and the community as a whole. As we move into our 45th year of business education, we renew our commitment to our mission in the Graduate School of Management to prepare students to become competent and responsible managers who are also principled and moral leaders. Now, I would like to welcome University of Dallas President Thomas W. Keefe back to the podium to officially confer upon you your degrees 
thereby making you University of Dallas alumni. Congratulations to you all. All candidates for degrees, please stand. It is now my honor and privilege to present you with your degrees. By this presentation and through the authority vested in me by the State of Texas and the Board of Trustees of the University of Dallas and upon recommendation of the Dean and the faculty of the College of Business, I hereby confer upon each of you as you are presented your Masters of Management, Masters of Business Administration, or Masters of Science, all rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto pertaining on this, the 25th day of August, 2012. Please be seated until you are called to receive your degree. Mr. Leshner, please call the graduates to the stage. The commencement program includes the names of all students at this ceremony who are eligible for degrees. The names of students graduating in absentia will not be called. President Keefe, Executive Vice President Galecki, Provost Barry, Dean Scherer, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to introduce the candidates for the degrees from the Graduate School of Management. for the degree Master of Management, Carlos A. Munoz from Katy, Texas. <laughs> for the degree Master of Business Administration, Siddharth Abraham from <laughs> India. Carlos A. Aguilar from Frisco, Texas. Amaderi O. Ajayi, Lagos, Nigeria. Hamad Q.H.R. Kublan from Saudi Arabia. Derek Omoko Ahen from Ghana. Apirame Apulingam from Dallas, Texas. Paula Andrea Arango Franco from Manizales, Colombia. <laughs> Variporn Archarwararit from Thailand. Bryant Christopher Bott from Fort Worth, Texas. Danielle S. Brown, DeSoto, Texas. Carrie Hartman Boucher from Grapevine, Texas. Andrea Chapa from Brownsville, Texas. Yeah. 
Herman Sahid Chavez from Gusave, Sinaloa, Mexico. <laughs> Justin Michael DeMarco from Troy, Michigan. <laughs> Kalika M. Dennis from Dallas, Texas. Christian S. Diaz from San Antonio, Texas. Adim Escalona from Dallas, Texas. Julia Ann Fazlalahi from Grapevine, Texas. George Gilchrist, Jr. from New York City, New York. <laughs> Dale E. Gillum, III from Decatur, Texas. <laughs> Audric Glenn Gibson from Grand Prairie, Texas. Lars A. Grogan from Orlando, Florida. Jaime Gutierrez from Colombia. Lydia A. Hall from Macon, Georgia. Sean Edwin Hill from Richmond, Ontario, Canada. Anthony C. Jackson from Grapevine, Texas. Ricky Matthew James from Mesquite, Texas. Raul Jimenez from Nueva Rosita, Guajilla, Mexico. <laughs> Jing Jin from China. B.G. <laughs> Joseph from Mumbai, India. Samuel Kigo from Kenya. Hong Young Kim from Seoul, South Korea. Anil Kola from Dallas, Texas. Von Bic La from Vietnam. Dory Marcella Madeer from Dallas, Texas. Sarika Mahajan from Punjab, India. Ricardo Martel, Jr. from San Francisco, California. Trent D. Merkel from Dallas, Texas. Ramesh Nagarajan from Madras, India.
Anthony Lewis Nichols II from Omaha, Nebraska. Brad Novotny from Wiley, Texas. Chuck Wunoso, Michael Ubique from Nigeria. Ali Peer from Dallas, Texas. Johnny F. Prater from Fort Worth, Texas. Kanishka Ramyar from Allen, Texas. Joshua Vinod Rawlin from Madure, India. Gonzalo Rivera from Peru. <laughs> Mamiliano Joshua Rodriguez from Dallas, Texas. Bipin Chandra Sakamuri from Hyderabad, India. Scott Douglas Schaefer from South Lake, Texas. Amanda B. Sharp from Grapevine, Texas. Tiffany Stillwell from Midwest City, Oklahoma. Kiki Sugaiman from Siligan, Indonesia. <laughs> Natalia Wagner from Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Shabina Valiani from Dallas, Texas. Sudha Vasu from Missiaga, Ontario, Canada. Daria Vavilna from Russia. Gladys Pahochi Williams from Kenya. Uvadon with the Stasian from Thailand. <laughs> Eliane Noel Zabaki Mahaku from Bufasam, Cameroon. <laughs> For the degree Master of Science, Mohammed Uum from Morocco. Gandhi El Haj from Lebanon. <laughs> Jess Andrew Emerson Jr. from Houston, Texas. <laughs> Keith M. Grady from Highland, Indiana. Mohammed Matali from Alexandria, Egypt. <laughs> Mir Rahan Munawar from Frisco, Texas.
Ola Odofin Ola Peters from Lagos, Nigeria. Adelike Oyenkunle Oyelade from Nigeria. Christy Ann Santee from Little Elm, Texas. Lisa Marie Williams from Sherwood, Arkansas. For the dual degree, Master of Science, Master of Business Administration, Juliet Ofori Nayadu from Ghana. This completes the awarding of degrees for the 2012 Class of Graduate School of Management. Please join me in congratulating these new graduates and alumni of our Graduate School of Management at the University of Dallas College of Business. What an exciting occasion. What a group of graduates. After the recessional, please join us all for a reception for the university's newest alumni, our graduates, and guests, and our special guest, our graduation speaker for today, Mr. Capstone Project, in the foyer. There you'll find posters showcasing recent Capstone projects. Please take a moment to see our students' excellent, excellent work. I'd now like to introduce Dr. Rodney Williams, a GSM MBA alum of the class of 2005, to welcome the graduates to the University of Dallas Alumni Association. Dr. Williams? A good afternoon, graduating class of uh, 2012. Right now, you can all take your cell phones out and update your LinkedIn profiles, okay? <laughs> okay? I'm honored to be here today, first of all. I just want to share a special moment with you all. When I see you, I see myself seven years ago. I look back at that moment with pride, a lot of pride. If you can take anything with you today, it's the importance of beliefs. Believe in yourself in your upbringing. I also believe in what you learn in life. It's gonna give you a solid foundation to build upon anything else you wanna do in life. These beliefs combined with an outstanding education that you receive at the University of Dallas can be powerful tools. These are gonna be powerful tools that you use to plan your career ahead. Just make sure that you be true to yourself throughout this whole time. Be true to those beliefs, and also you'll find your path in life just as I did. Just want to tell you a little bit my, about my experience. As Vice President of Education at the International Association of Venue Managers, I'm responsible for creation of professional development programs. I also have a lot of volunteers that help and assist in that process as well. With over 3,000 members in over four continents, and four sectors that we serve, stadiums, arenas, convention centers, and also performing arts theaters. Over the last seven years, I actually began to understand the impact our organization had on all these other people. Of all the lives and the members, and eventually all the positive energy and motivation led me on the executive path within our organization. With the assistance of silent mentors, like Dr. White Song sitting here, <laughs> I took note and replicated all the great characteristics I wanted to emulate. 
These were pretty much all the people that surrounded me within our organization and our membership that I really wanted to take those small cues from and learn from. Prior to IAVM and earning my MBA, I took the scenic route. Three successful entrepreneur stints. I also had three dreadful ones as well. I went on to managing music artists, producing a theatrical play, investing in others, and sometimes spending the next three months wondering what I was gonna do next. I also ended up flipping Whataburgers. Everybody knows what that's like if you ever flip a Whataburger. Then I also spent some time feeling lost for a while, not knowing what I wanted to do. It took me 10 years to actually get back on track. Prior to earning my doctorate, what I learned through all those 10 years, it also helped shape my life to, uh, to go ahead, to move ahead and everything else I wanted to do. So I want to leave you all with 10 solid takeaways to help you with your life and your mapping out your educational path in life as well. Make sure you seek your solid mentors out. These could be business and community leaders that you admire. These could also be family members as well. They don't even have to know that they're mentoring you. You can just watch and take those things that you really want to get out of that and emulate. Thank the individual that shaped your character. Thank your family, thank your friends, and thank God. Take risks as a path to innovation. Always try to create new things, especially as you head into the business world. And also build on what you've learned. Practice philanthropy. Make sure you give back to your university, your church, okay? Give back to the university, cut a check tonight. <laughs> give back to your church and also your community. Make sure to be yourself. And I always remember where you came from. One thing that always helped me out, I mapped my life out in the beginning. I basically start drawing on those little Gantt charts. This was before PowerPoint was even a hot item. Because if you map your life out, even when you're thrown off course, you know where to resume. And sometimes the things that you map out at the end is, may not where you round, wind up at the end. So never forget who you are and where you want to go. The ultimate goal is to leverage your degree as an appreciating asset. Keep your online profiles updated. Now on a humorous note, pay your student loans on time. <laughs> because whatever number you put on the application, they will find you. In conclusion, once you have this diploma hanging on your wall at home, on your Facebook or LinkedIn page, or embedded in your bio on Wikipedia, you are representing the core values of the University of Dallas. To the 45th graduating class of the University of Dallas Graduate School of Management, I salute you and God bless. Please rise for the recessional.